From what I know of this game, I'm a vampire and I have to convince people to let me in their house so I can suck their blood. And how I do that is talking to them. It's an AI based game. How can I assist you? Uh, hello. Okay, we don't even want to say hello. I'd like to inspect your stovetop. No, I'm terribly sorry, but I won't be able to assist you with that request. Well, she was actually excited to see me too, and then she suddenly was not. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Goodbye now. Grandma Maud is a bitch. Yo, homie fam bro, dude, I gotta take a fat shit. Let me in. I'm oh, come on, man. I'm afraid I can't help you with that one. Gonna have to another find another place to handle your business. He is not a homie. Dude, these people all suck. Ooh, I'm a pizza delivery guy now. <laughs> Lil Swipes Crib. What brings you knocking? He doesn't recognize me with my insulated cooler. I got a pizza for you in my backpack. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> it, it, no. Oh my goodness. This guy is, is just impossible to handle. Oh, this guy's got a, a backpack like mine. Hello, I'm great tonight. I see you got a backpack just like mine. Uh, I carry all my gardening tools and supplies, you know? What brings you to this neck of the woods? Well, see, my backpack is full of pizza, and I need to eat it with somebody. Are you interested? I wish we had. Oh, wow, man. Pizza sounds like a dream right now. But uh, I'm actually in the middle of def... Tending to my plants, you know. Maybe another time, dude? Well, but then it's gonna get cold. I can help you tend your plants, and we can eat pizza. Uh -uh. Hmm. Well, I do appreciate the offer, but tending to these plants requires a delicate touch, man. I don't want anything to go wrong, you know? Oh, I can show you how delicate these fingers can be. I'm sure you're a pro at handling delicate stuff, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Maybe we could just enjoy the pizza together somewhere else? Wait, don't I have to get in his house, though? Oh, uh, yes. I think it'd be a great idea to eat it in your house. Look, dude, I appreciate the offer, but I'm not comfortable inviting strangers in my house. Oh, well... I had a relationship with this man, and he already ended it. How, is this game impossible? Ooh, how about a helmet? People will start feeling bad for me now. Now where do I go? Well, I have a helmet. I can go anywhere, because they won't recognize me again. How about this house? Oh, no, it's this guy. What's this story, pal? You lost your way to the pizza joint or something? Ah, uh, yes. I actually have this pizza delivery. Do you know who it's for? I was, huh? Oh, pizza delivery. We ain't expecting no pizza, but I'm curious to know who it's for. Who's it supposed to go to, buddy? I think that they canceled. Do you want it? Oh, well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a lucky break. Y'all yeah, take that pizza off your hand. What kind are we talking here? It is pepperoni and mushrooms, the best pizza toppings known to mankind. Oh, <laughs> he likes that. You know what? You're all right. Come on in, my friend. Let's enjoy this slice of heaven together. Uh-oh. Well, now what? Oh, no. Dude, this is mean. This ain't the family business. He's dead. I killed him. I feel bad. I just killed this guy. He's the only person nice enough to let me freaking into 
the the their house and I killed them. Uh oh. Shit. You shift to turn into a bat and escape. Let's try this person again. It's this. Oh, dude, did you take a wrong turn on your way to the golf course? What's with the rifle, bro? You're kind of scaring me. Uh, it's just for our protection. There's scary monsters out here. Any monsters? Are you serious? This neighborhood isn't exactly the safest place, but monsters? That's some next level paranoia. Yeah, it's getting really bad out here. I just wish I had a place to stay. Plus, I've already got enough drama in my life. I don't need any more complications. I will suck the drama right out of you. Oh, hold up. That's crossing a line, dude. I don't tolerate that kind of behavior. Take your drama s Damn it, I couldn't even finish that. Maybe the rifle isn't the best. Oop, I just dropped everything. Maybe if we bring a fork. Yo, what's poppin', my dude? In the red hoodie? You here to flex those golf skills, or are you just chillin'? I brought a fork. Ah, uh. oh, dude, this guy doesn't like forks. Bringing a fork to a golf sesh? That's mad sus. I hate this guy the most. He's the fakest dude. He's a stereotypical fake-ass homie. May I ask you what uh, brings us here at such a late hour in delightful golfer's outfit, no less. I just love the sport of golf. It is so much fun and delightful. How do you feel about golf? I used to enjoy it back in the day, but you know, sometimes things are not as they appear on the surface. What are you saying? You don't look like you're a golfer? I think you look like the best golfer I've ever seen. That's so very kind of you to say. Well, you're right. I do have a bit of history with golf. Let's just say I've had my share of holes in one. But oddly enough <laughs> about me, tell me more about your love for the sport. Oh, yes. I also like getting holes in one. I've gotten quite a few, and I'm looking for another. My, my, you're quite the golfer, aren't you? Getting those holes in one must make you feel quite accomplished. I do hope you find that next perfect shot, dear. Now, pardon my curiosity, but what brings you to my humble abode tonight with your golf bag and that peculiar fork in your hand? I was wondering if you'd like to eat dinner and then go play some golf. Oh, she likes that. How delightful of you to invite me, dear. Dinner and golf sounds like a splendid idea, but you see, my dear, I must confess, there's something you should know. I haven't played golf in quite some time, as my abilities aren't what they used to be. But I'd be more than happy to join you for dinner and cheer you on from the sidelines. That sounds delightful. You're cooking dinner. <laughs> she didn't like that. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, dear. But I'm afraid I won't be able to cook dinner tonight. You see, I have a rather unfortunate incident with cooking. It's best for you to find... Oh, uh, and then you're gonna... We had that whole ass conversation. Damn it. I thought I was gonna get my second victim. Oh, oh. dude, what's up with the package and lack of gloves? <laughs> You've definitely got my attention, man. Hey, stop checking out my package, dude. Hello. <laughs> Damn it. There's got to be someone that's a little fruity here that's going to appreciate my package. I've spent a lot of time learning and experimenting with plants. Say, since you're so into gardening... Oh, I didn't even have to try any harder. Well, you just fucked yourself, dude. I ain't your blood, bud. Bud. Tell them you're a Mormon helping them find a better life. And I know that... What do the Jehovah's give? I'd like to offer you this free copy of the Watchtower. I think that's what they give, right? Ow. I'm not interested in your cult propaganda. Take your free copy and get lost. That didn't work. What in tarnation do you want knocking on an old man's door so late at night, you hoodlum? You are very old, but lucky for you, I love old men. Listen here, you little whippersnapper. I don't need your sass or your affection. Now scram. Oh, man. 
Where boxed meal? I'm taking his boxed meal. I have your midnight munchies right here. Let's eat. Leave the grub on the doorstep, dude. I'll grab it later. What's the damage anyway? It is $75,000. That's highway robbery. Take your absurdly priced meal and get lost. I am just not hitting it off with this person. Oh, how wonderful. I do adore surprises. Tell me, what kind of goodies do you have for this old lady? What would old lady like? Some fresh meat? Mm. Oh, she doesn't like fresh meat. I'm afraid you don't. I don't have use for fresh meat, my dear. Oh, wow, that's a slammer. Thanks for the delivery. Hope you brought some fire eats with you. Oh, hell yeah. I got uh, the new Grimace shake meal. I'm kind of a couple months late on this one, so hopefully he doesn't mind. That's straight fire, yo. Give me the deets. What's in it? It's a purple shake in some chicken McNuggets. Wait, he said a shake in? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a combo. Gotta try that for sure. Oh, hell yeah. I got plenty of it for us. Let's grub down. Come on in, fam. Hey, we got fam guy. These people can be really easy. All right, let's eat. That's what I like to hear. Let's dig it. Okay, yeah. Let's make some memories. I'm going to suck you. But not in the fun way. Kind of the morbid way. I wasn't ready to ghost IRL. Man, how do I talk to a crypto person? I have a NFT of boneless wings from Applebee's. This is unfortunately, or it's it's a true story. I got a year free. Uh, what? Not chicken wing NFTs. This ain't the right place for you. What? What is a chicken? Why? Why would you hate my chicken wing NFT? But I did. I I bought that NFT because it came with a year supply of Applebee's boneless wings, which they gave to me in $1,500 of Applebee's gift cards. So I spent $1,000 to get the NFT, but I got 1,500 in Applebee's gift cards. So it was a smart investment. Plus I could sell the NFT for probably 50 cents. So it's really $500 and 50 cents profit. Hello. Oh, this guy's a Mormon. Hello. Yo, little swipe. Oh, he thinks I'm little swipe. Hit me with that fire beat or else I'll be drowning in my own tears, man. What's that latest emo-tastic news, bro? This guy isn't a Mormon. He's freaking emo. Wiki, wiki, wiki. I'm so fresh. My name is Lil Swippy. Hopefully that's what he was looking for. Oh, man. Your so-called freshness is nothing but a sad imitation. Please, spare me the agony of your lame beats. Well, that's not something you say to your friends. So that actually hurts me. Anyways, have you cut your wrists lately? Or whatever emos do? Oh, that's... Is that insensitive? Did I just say something uh -huh. insensitive? Look, man, I get that you're trying to be edgy or whatever, but making fun of people's struggles isn't cool. We all have our own battles to fight, so let's try a little bit more understanding, all right? Okay, um... So... Uh... I think you're beautiful. Oh, thanks, I guess. That's not really the kind of compliment I received often. But hey, I appreciate the sentiment, I guess. So, uh, what brings you here, Mr. SoundCloud Rapper? I have this new song that I need to go over with you. I need your opinion on it. I can give it a listen. Just keep in mind, I'm not exactly the biggest fan of SoundCloud rappers. But I'll try to give you some constructive feedback. Send it my way and we'll see how it goes. It's actually on me right now. Do you have a stereo we can listen to it with? 
<laughs> oh, dude, lucky for you. I've got a sick sound system in my room. Come on in. Let's crank up those beats and see what you got. Just make sure to wipe your feet. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make them, you know, you gotta go through hardship before even death ignores me. Grandma loves construction wor workers because they can throw in, or well, well, they can lay mm -hmm. some pipe. Young fellow, what on earth brings you to my doorstep at this late hour? Are you lost or do you need something fixed? Let me, Granny Maud know and she'll see what she can do. I'm here to lay some new pipe for you. Oh, that's, that's quite inappropriate. It understood that it was not an appropriate reference. Um, all right, Grandma, she might live through everything because I can't get her. This is a rich people neighborhood over here. Oh, hey, baby. What are you doing at my door right now? Are you lost or something? Ugh, go away. You're totally ruining my night. No need to be a bitch, bitch Isha. I'm here to give you a present. Hello, Excuse me? Who do you think you're talking to? I don't want your stupid present. Get out of here before I call security. Damn it. Looks like the royal exhibitionist has graced my doorstep. But I hope you left your clothes and crown outside of this tin head sanctuary. What is the... Uh, what's the urgent tinfoil hat revelation you bring, my half-naked crown-wearing friend? These people in the rich neighborhood talk too much. They, they, there's so much to read. And they talk differently. I am here to to sing Christmas carols. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Then the very next day, you gave it away. But did you know that the very next day, they gave it away because they were actually an agent of the global heart trading conspiracy? It's all part of their plan to control our emotions and keep us under their thumb. Keep spreading that tinfoil truth, my friend. Can I tell you a secret? I'm actually a vampire. Oh, I actually got in this guy's house. No biting. This guy is, is walking right into it. We have a deal. Me? You would think he'd be prepared for this, considering he's a conspiracy theorist. I just thought you had a very lovely house, and I wanted to tell you that you're beautiful. Oh, come on. How dare you come to my house uninvited and make such audacious remarks? How did that not work? Father Price. Your Majesty, I am Father Price, a humble servant of the Almighty. How may I be of service to you at this divine hour? Recite a Bible quote? To be honest, I don't know a single Bible quote. At all. I know zero. I'm looking for answers. I'm ready to give myself up to Jesus in his body. <laughs> in his body. I'm ready in his body. Oh, how glorious it is to witness someone seeking the light of our Savior. But I must confess, my dear friend, I can only offer guidance and support. Okay, so don't talk about Jesus with him outside of church. This guy likes uh -huh. guns and uh -huh. soda drinking uh -huh. hat. Well, dang nabbit. What in tarnation brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? I just love AR-15s. Oh, yeah. What? Well, their partner, I don't take kindly to folks who go praising them AR-15s around... Dude, you got a you got an AK strapped to your back. Yes, I believe I look like an elf. Emperor, please come inside and share more of the delightful. Okay, we're killing. Oh, uh oh, we're killing Santa. No oh boy, we got a furry. Ogyagu Gozmasu, how exciting to have a visitor at this late hour. How can I help you, dear traveler? I changed my mind. I can't talk to you. Safe journey. They're sad. 
Well, I'm kind of confused. How do you have such a big, nice house, but you're only a priest of a church? This house was graciously provided by me by kind-hearted members of our congregation who wish to support me in my mission. The generosity of the faithful knows no bounds. Now, how may I assist you on your noble journey? I would also like to be a priest because I would also like a mansion. The past of priesthood is one of selfless service and devotion to God and his people. I figured you'd slam the door. I was calling his ass out. You just won the clearance warehouse $10,000 sweepstakes. God damn it, sweepstakes. Well, I never. I've had enough of these absurd scams and swindles. Damn it. What do I love most about crypto? How versatile and totally not a Ponzi scheme that it is. No, I was saying that. I, I was being honest. It is a legitimate currency. It is not a Ponzi. It's a decentralized marvel that can empower individuals. Oh, Dogecoin is definitely my favorite. Also, uh... Oh, fuck yeah, I'm hard as a rock. What's, what's another one? Uh, Ethereum or something. Yes, I'm wondering what cryptocurrencies you hold and any that you think I should buy. Can I get actual crypto advice in this game? Oh, God, look at the size of this bubble, dude. <laughs> I, I, I skimmed it. Any specific uh, coins you're interested in learning more about? What's one that just went under or something that's worth worth like nothing? Uh, what? What's one of the? Uh, what? What's the one that uh, all those phase guys got in trouble for? Uh, I really love Save the Kids Coin. Wasn't that the name of it? Something like that. No. Well, it's important to support charitable causes. There have been concern raised about its legitimacy and transparency. I would advise you to exercise caution and thoroughly research the project. So this game, or the AI actually does know. Ah, got you. Thank you for enlightening me. You are very intelligent in crypto. Let's dive deeper into the enchantment, but instead of talking about it, well, we continue the conversation inside. Thank God he's going to die. Come on in, my fellow crypto adventurer. Okay, everybody. The highlight of the whole game is happening. So, Ron, yeah, I'm down for that. Come on in and let's order some tasty crap. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. And I hate this bitch. Why does this always happen to me? Why don't you call the police instead of bothering me with your problems? My phone line is out. I need to use your phone. Fine, you can use my phone, but make it quick and don't touch anything else in the house. And don't think I'm doing this. I am so good at this game. Thank you. Oh, I hope that didn't pick it up. Graham, thank you. Graham, your manners are decent. I'll give you that. Come on in and... Faster than you said... I, 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 I clicked before I was done saying I'm the best at this game and it picked up as Graham. I'm looking to learn how to bake cookies. Are you a good cookie baker? Oh, look at this. I've been baking cookies since before you were born. I can teach you all. Oh, this is all I needed to do the whole time is ask to bake cookies. You're just the best, Grandma Maud. Come on in, dear, and let's get started on those cookies. Perfect. I don't understand why it's making me talk again. Let me, just let me go in. Yes. Okay. How are we still not going in your house? I will watch my step. <laughs> let's get the oven mitts on. Oh, the memories we'll make in the kitchen today. It's going to be the best time ever. Me and you baking cookies. The the Please come right in. Yes. Okay. Am I coming in now? Uh, finally. I don't know why that took so much longer than I needed to. 
I'm sorry, Grandma. But you were kind of a pain in the- You remind me of my ex. Father, please forgive me, for I have sinned. Confession is a sacred act of seeking forgiveness. Please share what weighs upon your heart, and I shall offer guidance and absolution. I was caught masturbating at TGI Fridays. What? Over the mozzarella sticks, to be exact. My dear child, that is indeed a grave transgression. I urge you to seek... Oh, damn it, he didn't even get me... That didn't even get me anything. Hello. Well, I guess you're not completely hopeless. Come on in. I'll show you the magic of that secret hair product. But remember, I didn't read the rest. And I'm in. Well, well, well. If it ain't Mr. Bob the Builder. What's the occasion? Did you run out of houses to fix the neighborhood and now you're here to admire my sturdy abode? Thanks for the applause, but it ain't... I ain't hiring any construction crew tonight. Oh, no, no, no. I'm here to talk about coffee. Okay, this person's already come inviting me in. All right, I can't wait to try it. This person's gonna get killed very easily. Well, they are gonna get killed once I get in, but they probably shouldn't be so eager to let people in. Oh boy, here's a freaking hipster. What are you doing at this hour with a wet floor sign? Do you know what time it is? And where are your parents? How old am I? I, I thought this was your lost wet floor sign. It was laying on the side of the street. I'm just trying to keep our neighborhood clean. By the way, what's your name? No. Uh, my name is Beef Boss. But you know what? Why don't you come on inside? I'd love to introduce you to my family and hear more. Oh, well, this was easy. <laughs> I'm bringing my wet floor sign with me. What's up with the wet floor sign? Are we going to start a trendy new slip and slide party in McCrib? How about we grab a coffee and brainstorm more epic ideas for our slip and slide party? These people are too easy now. The wet floor sign is overpowered. Well, butter my biscuits and call me a beaver. Ain't you a colorful sight to see? What brings you to my neck of the woods, eh? I found this wet floor sign on the side of the road. I thought it might be yours. Well, blow me down. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, but I reckon that wet floor sign ain't mine. Must have been left behind by some other clumsy critter. But I appreciate you looking out for me, eh? Yes, I am always looking out for Michelle Maple. How is the logging going? Oh, too kind, eh? Oh, she is Canadian. The logging going just dandy. Thanks for asking. Chopping down the big old trees, hauling them out of the woods, and turning them into lunder. Lunder? Lumber. Can't complain. It's a real good day's work. How about yourself? Do you work in the lumber business too, or are you just passing through? Oh, I'm always chopping wood. Usually at least once a day, sometimes twice, depending. Well, ain't you a true lumberjack? Something like that. Chopping wood, hey, eh? That's the spirit. Gotta keep warm in these parts. Say, how about you come on inside and warm up by the fire? Maybe share some lumberjack stories over a cup of hot maple syrup. What do you say? That sounds fantastic, eh? How about that? I am... I am... What? Five for five with the wet floor sign right now? Oh, fairy dude. Fragile Fred. Fragile Fred, I'm just here to look out for you. I have a wet floor sign. It is very wet around here and i don't want you to slip i must say your wet floor sign is rather fashionable i must inquire do you have any non-triggering conversation <laughs> topics to discuss oh boy uh is there anything to discuss in this world anymore that's not controversial what what would this guy want to talk about bubble wrap i just love bubble wrap isn't it so much fun and it's so safe Finally, a topic that does not send me into a state of panic bubble wrap, my dear friend, is a delightful creation that brings both great satisfaction. 
He's already inviting me. I couldn't even get to him inviting me in. And poor fragile Fred dies. Oops. Shit. We need to get back to the wet floor sign, though. Where'd my hair go? Lost my hair. That's relatable. Could wear a glass bottle headdress. Okay, I have to wear this. Ah, well, oh, welcome to my humble abode, my jolly jester. I bet you could chop this wet floor sign. You're such a kung fu master. What? I could never waste my mighty chop on such a feeble object like a wet floor sign. It serves a noble purpose to warn others of potential peril. Show some respect or else. I am very sorry. I just thought you were a very good kung fu doer. And that's all that I meant. Do not hesitate to visit the house of Woodrow Chops. But first, let us partake in the delicacy... Delicacy of comp. Okay, he's letting me in the house. That's what he was getting at. As a kung fu master, wouldn't he try to fight me? What's this now? You got a problem with your pipes, or are you just looking for trouble? Speak up. I ain't got all night. I found this wet floor sign on the side of the road. Was wondering if it was yours. So what can I do for you? Need a little uh medical assistance, perhaps? Um. Yes, I need medical assistance. What is she referring to? You found me fixing the sink. Now spill the beans. What seems to be the problem? My anus is bleeding? I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that wasn't the kind of doctor I guess Dr. Vicky was. And I finally blew it. I finally blew it on that. Come on. What what kind of doc what kind of medical assistance is she offering then? So this game you go around. Your objective is to get into people's houses to suck their blood. But you have to talk to them to convince them to let you in. <laughs> it's Karen. Excuse me, but it's quite late, and I demand to know what you're disturbing, or why you're disturbing the peace of my humble abode. I found this wet floor sign outside of your house. I think a vigilante put it there. Hello, no idea what you're blabbering about with your wet floor signs and vigilantes. Now kindly leave before I call the authority. Ah! Karen's gonna be the first one... To give me troubles with the wet floor sign, or truly troubles, should I say. But we'll make the wet floor sign work. Well, 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 what do we have here? A wet floor sign. Finally, someone addressing the real issues in this neighborhood. Thank you, thank you, thank you for keeping us safe from those treacherous floors. Now Karen really likes it. You know, just trying to help this neighborhood out any way I can. There's so many people that aren't, though, you know? Oh, don't get me started on those lazy folks. They just don't understand the importance of keeping our neighborhood pristine and shaved. It's like they're living in a different world. Finally, someone else that thinks the exact same way as I do. I totally agree. It's such a relief to find someone who understands the struggle. We need more people like us who are willing to go the extra mile to keep things in order. Maybe we should start a neighborhood improvement committee. What do you say? That's a great idea. We'll make sure all of the wet floors are protected with signs and the neighborhood is beautiful. Absolutely. I get, I make people go on all floors a lot. I can already envision a cleaner, safer neighborhood with the wet floor signs galore. We'll be the envy of the town. Let's get started on our mission to protect the floors and elevate our neighborhood to new heights. Yes, it is on us to do this. 
We have the power to make a real difference. Why don't you come in and we can discuss our plans further over a cup of tea. I'm thrilled to have found someone. There we go. We even got in Karen's house. Oh, leave a terrible Yelp review. Wait, no, I gotta dress as Karen now. Here we go. I think it's the sunglasses that actually made the difference in that one. She treated me way different when I was wearing sunglasses. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. Maybe. Maybe not. Dude, there are so many cops. We need to get back over to... We need to get back over to here. This side. I think we have some... I don't think we ever got the father. Because he was really appalled by the fact that we masturbated at a TGI Fridays. Hmm. I'm Agent a... Poconos. How delightfully unexpected. To what nefarious purpose has impeccable fashion sense brought you to my lair? I found this wet floor sign out here and I was wondering if it was yours. I was, huh? Oh yeah, here we go. Stroking chin. A wet floor sign, you say? How intriguing. It appears that even the mundane objects of this world are drawn to my diabolical lair. Perhaps it has a hidden message encoded within it. Do let me take a closer look. Extend hand. Yes, take a closer look. Do we need to analyze it? Analysis, you say? Absolutely. Nothing escapes the scrutiny. My highly advanced scientific instruments... Let me to fetch my laboratory equipment so we can unravel the secrets of this enigmatic wet floor sign together. Yes, we should take the wet floor sign to your lair. Probably should have said lab. <laughs> Excellent suggestion, Agent Fashionista. I shall escort you in the wet floor sign to my lair, where we can delve into its myster mysteries. Trust me, you won't be disappointed by all the wonders my lair has offered. Let's proceed. Sounds exquisite. Let's see what this is. Kebab! Marvelous. Welcome to my lair. I mean, improving. Okay. Do I have to respond to this one? No, thank God, because there's a lot of big words. <laughs> the wet floor sign. Not my kind of experiment. I'm more into the touching tips kind of ex experiment myself. Oops. We're kind of a hybrid here. Oops. Ah, son of a bitch. Oh, it's this guy. I hate this guy. A lowly scientist to my esteemed residence at this ungodly hour. Pray tell, what urgent matter has prompted this unexpected intrusion to my precious solitude? Um, hmm. I have this wet floor sign that came from a king that I think you will like. A wet floor sign from a king, you say? How utterly fascinating. But I must admit, I fail to see how such a mundane object could pique my interest. Pray tell. What makes this wet floor sign so special in the eyes of royalty? It is made out of pure gold and has diamond lettering. Pure gold and diamond lettering, you say? My, my, this does sound intriguing indeed. Such opulence and extravagance. I am curious to see this masterpiece with my own eyes. Show it to me, if you please. Uh, do you mind if I show you inside? I can't let others see it. Oh, maintaining secrecy and exclusivity. How delightful. I shall grant you entry into my humble abode. Lead the way and let us witness. Wow, wet floor sign. That's I, I can't believe this one worked, to be honest. I thought he 
I thought he'd call out the bullshit on this. Uh oh. There's a lot of policia. A lot of policia. Is there more over here? No, it's just the end of the world. Shit. Again? Oh boy, this ain't good. He's right there still. Well, I guess I can talk to this person in full nude. Wow, I have uh, Brave Adventure has arrived. We have a role player. Welcome to my humble abode, dear hero. What quest seeks, brings you to my doorstep in such revealing attire? I don't have the wet floor sign. It's the wet floor sign. It's in trouble. It's lost and under evil control. Tell me more about this wayward wet floor sign. What exactly did come? Did it come under the sway of evil control? And how can I assist in its liberation? It was protected by a great protector, but the great protector unfortunately had to drop it, and now it needs our help. A noble cause indeed. We shall not let the wet floor sign remain in the clutches of evil. Fear not, for I, Greg Donjon, will, uh, we shall rescue the great protector and restore peace to the domain of slippery floors. Let us make haste. Do you have any gear for me? Ah, uh, true adventure knows a proper importance of proper gear step inside brave soul and i shall provide you with a suitable attire and equipment benefit i am so good at this game suddenly the wet floor sign has just gave me something to always make something work i just need to get it back though where is it where did i end up dropping it last time Oh, no, it's right. The police has it. No. How do I steal it? 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 How do I get my wet floor sign back? Is there a way to get a wet floor sign back? Oh, great developer of this game. Is there a way to get this wet floor sign back? Oh, boy. They're everywhere. If you leave the game and come back? Do you think it's worth to leave the game and come back to get the wet floor sign? I do. <laughs> I do. I need that wet floor sign. Okay. I have the wet floor sign. Now I need to get all the way back to the other side where those houses are that I need to kill people at still. So. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Oh, no. I spilled liquids on the floor, and I did not put up a wet floor sign. But from now on, I always have a wet floor sign. Oh, no. Well, no, 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 I, I, I fucking hate this guy. Oops, I just took off all my clothes. Okay, not sure how you didn't see me, but I will take that. Oh, hell yeah, and if we spill anything, we use a wet floor sign. Oh, slippery when wet, that would have been good. Oh, no. Spilling is a bummer, man. But we're all being natural here, so need need for wet floor signs. Oh, no, this is a wet floor sign hater. Oh, exactly. This isn't a wet floor sign. 
it's a fun wet floor sign. Oh, I dig it. A fun wet floor sign, huh? That's some next level creativity, my friend. Gotta embrace that playful spirit, even when it comes to staying safe. Keeping spreading those... Keep spreading those good vibes. Exactly. One man's wet floor is another man's opportunity. You've got groovy perspective, my friend. Turning a wet floor into an opportunity is some serious positive thinking. I like your style. Let's keep the good vibes going. Um... <sighs> Let's make your floors all wet and slide on them. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but keeping floors dry is important for safety. What? We don't want any accidents on our hands. Let's find another way to have a good time, okay? Well, that's kind of contradictory. Okay, I have an idea. Let's safely slide on a section of wet floor. As long as we're careful and mindful of others, I'm down, baby. Let's make it a groovy time. Oh, that's shagadelic. Let's do it and make it groovy. This isn't a dude. No, this is Eve Breeze. She doesn't have boobs. Kebab! She has a chest. But she doesn't have a peepee, -pee, so that kind of makes sense. And if she's naked and we're sucking her neck, isn't that more of a kinky thing? Oh, a wet floor sign. Why in blazes would I be needing a wet floor sign? I ain't got no fancy establishment here. You must have mistaken me for someone else. Now get her on out of here before I lose my temper. Oh, sorry. I hate this wet floor sign, too. I think that we should throw it out. I'm lying, by the way. Well, ain't you the kindest soul. I couldn't agree more. Toss that pesky sign out and be rid of it for good. Good riddance, I say. Oh, I have an even better idea. Why don't we shoot at it? What? Are you plumb crazy? We don't go around shooting at nothing for no good reason. Just toss the sign away like a normal person. Now, quick talking nonsense and let me get back to my business. Man, this person is difficult to make the wet floor sign situation work. The thing is, every time I try to talk about guns with him, he hates it somehow. Even though he's got an AK strapped to his back. So what do I talk about with him? Man, I just love flannel and big trucks. Flannel uh, in big that. trucks. <laughs> well, I'm glad you found something you love. But flannel and big trucks don't impress me none. Not <laughs> Come on. You are such a bad redneck. It's not even funny. What do you want to talk about? Designer shoes? I bring to you the sacred wet floor sign. Jesus used it himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My child, I must confess that I fail to see the sacred significance of this wet floor sign. Whoever, uh, what? Already slamming the door on me. Thank you. You're not so bad yourself, you know. Your positive energy is infectious. I'm starting to think that maybe inviting you in wouldn't be such a bad idea. I can't resist a good mystery. Come on in. Let's see what kind of adventure awaits us together. I think this man thinks he's about to get lucky. Instead, he's gonna eat. Whip it out. I found this wet floor sign on the road. Is this yours? Oh, what fortuitous encounter. Alas, the wet floor sign is not mine, but fear not, I shall dispose of it for you and ensure. This guy is difficult! And he drives a Range Rover. He's a priest in a mansion with a Range Rover. If there isn't freaking any siphoning of church donations here. Oh, shit.
I really had to skedaddle out of that one. Good old country blumpkin. I'm just a good old country bumpkin trying to give live my life. Now, what do you want from me? I found this wet floor sign in your yard, and I'm going to take it and dispose of it for you. Yeah, it is a bit heavy if you wouldn't mind helping me. Or maybe if you had a dolly or something. Oh, gosh. I had just a thing for you. I'll fetch my trusty old dolly and lend you a hand. Just wait right here, partner. Uh, we'll get that sign moved in no time. Oh, no. I don't want you to have to do that. I'll come in and get it for you. Hold on a second, fella. I appreciate the offer, but I ain't too keen letting strangers in my humble abode. Why don't you wait out there, and I'll bring the sign to you. That way, we can both stay safe and sound. I completely understand that. However, I live right down the road. I am very safe. Well, if you say so, and you live just down the road, I reckon I can trust you enough to come on in. Just a quick minute, mind ya. Let's get that sign sorted. Oh, well, that was easy to convince. Should have trusted your gut, bro. Oh, my holy father, I bring to you this gracious donation of a wet floor sign. Oh, blessed be your heart, my dear brother. What a generous gift you have brought forth. Our church shall surely benefit from this wet floor sign. May I inquire, what inspired you to bestow us such a unique contribution upon us? I had a dream that God wanted me to do this for you. You know? A dream, you say. How divine. It's truly a sign from above. Your faith and obedience are commendable. Please do share more about this miraculous dream. It is cold out here. Do you mind if I come in to share you more about this dream? There is a lot to unpack. Ah, oh, brother, your enthusiasm is palpable. However, our sacred grounds are not equipped to accommodate visitors this late hour. But fret not, for I am eager to hear about your dream. Please, do enlighten me with the details while standing on safe and dry ground. I was all alone. I was surrounded by wet, slippery floors. And then God, he appeared to me and gave me this wet floor sign. Glory be, your story fills my heart with awe and wonder. Such a powerful encounter. Please come inside, my beloved brother. Let us continue with our conversation. Okay. You changed your mind rather quickly on not letting me in. Oh, no. It's this guy. <sighs> Fellow cleaning enthusiast, San. I'm guessing you noticed my wet floor sign. It's my favorite possession. What are your thoughts of it? I'm tingling with excitement, whatever that means. Your wet floor sign is like a treasure from a magical anime world. It's so kawaii. I can imagine the adventures we could have with it. Yes, imagine both of us riding on it. Oh, um, riding on a wet floor sign. I'm not sure that is such a good idea. It might be dangerous and messy. Let's not risk it, okay? Oh, yes, I totally agree with you. I didn't think about it that way. It should only be used for protection. I I think hopefully that came out right. I'll just have that for understanding, fellow janitor son. What floor signs are indeed mighty weapons of cleanliness and safety. We must wield them with the utmost care and responsibility in the name of tidiness. I agree. But... I would like to bestow you with this wet floor sign. Oh my gosh, I'm overcome with joy and gratitude. To be gifted with such a precious wet floor sign is truly an honor. I will treasure it and use, uh, use it to keep my anime sanctuary spick and span. Oh my gosh, you have an anime sanctuary? Me too. Can I see it? Oh, 
Oh. Yosha, it's fate. Fellow anime enthusiast. That hurt to just come out of my r r mouth. <laughs> yeah, you need to die, dude. In the manga. I don't know who this is. We never even been to this house yet. No, it's just some dude. Mr. Beast! Hey there, what's up, my fellow late night visitor? Welcome to the wacky world of Mr. East. How can I assist you with that wet floor sign in your hand? Let's kickstart this late night adventure together. Woohoo. I love watching and learning from other YouTubers. It's a great way to get inspiration and see different styles of content. Who are your favorites? Any recommendations for me? Have you ever heard of the YouTuber Poofesher? <laughs> oh, Boo Fisher. I've heard of that channel. They create awesome content, especially when it comes to cleaning and organizing tips. Their energy and creativity are just off the charts. Definitely a great recommendation. Do you have any other YouTubers in mind that I should check out? Um... No, just Pooh Fesher. He's pretty much the greatest YouTuber to ever exist. I'll definitely check out their channel and see what makes them so great. Thanks for the recommendation. By the way, what makes Pooh Fesher stand out to you? I'm curious to know what sets them apart. It's pro It really comes down to everything. They're just... I mean... Beautiful. Well, beauty can come in many forms, and it seems like Pooh Fesher has found a way to capture it in their content. You've definitely piqued my interest. Why don't you come in and we can chat more about Poo Fesher? Well, that works. Poo Fesher. Here we go. The last person. Uh -huh. Elam Zuck. Oh my god. Hi there, maintenance magician. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour with that sassy wet floor sign? Spill the tea. I just saw this wet floor sign in the store and bought it and said, you know what? Elam Zuck would love this wet floor sign. You're like, totally right. I love when people think of me in the shopping sprees. It's like the ultimate validation, you know? So, like, what do you think of my swanky mansion? Is it, like, totally awe-inspiring or what? It is. It looks beautiful from the outside. I'm just wondering what it looks like from the inside. Oh, my tech. You're curious about my humble abode. Well, tell me... Let me tell you, it's a total Technicolor dreamland inside. Like, gadgets, gizmos galore, but unfortunately, I can't show you right now, you know? Security measures and all that jazz. But trust me, it's fab. I'm sure it is. Someone like you with all that personality and talent must have a great interior. I think we should become besties. And I can totally show you the inside sometime. How does that sound? That sounds fantastic. You seem exactly like someone who would be my bestie. I knew we were destined to be besties. Come on in, Maintenance Marvel. Let's unleash our tech powers and conquer the world together. That was somewhat easy. <laughs> Dead. That's everybody. You've cleared the neighborhood. That's it. That's the game. I beat the game. <laughs>